just happy to be here and particularly pleased to honor uh, His Eminence Cardinal Dolan. We're, we're just uh, thrilled that he's going to be with us. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland of the Twelve has a glowing view of the life and service of His Eminence Timothy Cardinal Dolan, Archbishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of New York. One of the reasons I jumped at this chance, I said, good, I've been wanting to sit down with LDS leaders in this community for seven and a half years, and now we got it. And so when I got the invitation, not only was I honored and grateful for the award, but when I saw the chance to be with how many people we got here tonight? 450 people, that's two collections where I come from. I said, use a Catholic word, bingo. This is gonna be a great evening. Cardinal Dolan is being recognized for his visionary leadership, the distinction presented to him at the renowned Riverside Church in New York City's Manhattan Borough. This annual event is brought about by the New York Latter-day Saint Professional Association, an interfaith group focused on ethics, interfaith community volunteerism, and generating scholarships for local youth. There are a lot of things that bring us together and give us common cause, and that's what Cardinal Dolan is uh, so good at. He's easy to approach, he's easy to love, he's uh, articulate and influential, and uh, we hope he sees in us uh, the kind of friend we see in him. With his Irish charm and unshakable faith, he has won our hearts and he wins the heart of everyone he meets. All who've known him personally and millions more who know his ministry have been the beneficiaries of his talent and temperament for healing, for helping. Elder Holland offered the keynote speech on this night honoring Cardinal Dolan, and with it, his appreciative insight to the man who firmly understands that all voices, whether religious or secular, should be heard in the public square and be protected. His eminence certainly has been a stalwart in defending religious freedom, another interfaith bond he has forged with us and with others. Coming together in the amity, the friendship that gathers us this evening, we're reminded of the words of the father of our country, that this great experiment in democracy cannot survive unless it is based upon religion. This award, I interpret as an affirmation of that and as a validation that you and I are in solidarity. Thank you very much and God bless you.